Last week I showed you what happens to slime when you freeze it. We moulded some really cool shapes and watched it thaw. This week we're going to see what happens when you boil it. I'm also going to try boiling this oozy green slime and this homemade fluffy slime too. So this pan is full of the thawed out slime. It's still got a few frozen lumpy bits in. But I'm going to turn on the gas and bring it to the boil. I used a spoon to keep moving the slime so it heats up evenly. You can see that on the edges it looks like it's starting to separate. There's a watery substance and a yellow lumpy substance. It almost looks like it's curdling. I continued heating it and it's become a lot thinner now. It's no longer sticky or slimy. It just pours off the spoon. As I continue heating it, you can see it really is separating. It's pretty much all liquid now, apart from the yellow stuff, which looks kind of like scrambled egg. If I try squishing it between two spoons, you can see it does flatten and squash together. It is soft and it looks like it would mould, a bit like slime. I left it in the pan to simmer for a few minutes and not a lot changed. It looks like it has all finished separating. So I drained off all the water in the pan and we're left with this yellow squidge which I'm going to leave to cool down. After about half an hour I can handle it and it kind of just looks like slime. It's a bit stringy, you can stretch it and mould it. It does however feel a bit more rubbery than slime though. In fact I'd say it feels a bit more like putty than slime. And I reckon it might actually bounce. So I rolled it up into a ball and gave it a go. And you can see yes it does bounce. Heating up the slime has made this sort of bouncing rubber putty. If you leave it to sit for a few minutes, it does spread out. Nowhere near as quickly as slime though. You can see what I mean when I say it's more like a putty. It is very dry and rubbery. And I can even roll it up. The final thing I noticed is that if I press down on it quickly, it'll try to return to its shape. It definitely has got elastic properties. Pretty cool, huh? And you can even tear it. Next I'm going to make this oozy green slime to see what happens when we boil that. I'm using this green glitter glue from Elmer's. I tipped it all out into a bowl filled the bottle up with water and gave it a shake to help rinse out the contents. Then I poured that into the bowl too and gave it all a mix To turn it into slime, I'm using this borax powder. Check out my other slime videos for alternatives. I poured a little water into a jug and dissolved some of the powder to make a solution. Then I poured a small amount of it into the glue, gave it a mix and you can see straight away it became slime. I added a bit more and kept mixing it and I ended up with this sort of lump of slime which was a bit too congealed. 
so I poured in some water and mixed it with my hands by crunching it together. I wanted a nice gooey slime for boiling, so I kept adding more water until I finally had this really sticky, proper gooey slime. So the next thing to do was pour it into a saucepan and put it on the stove. This stuff is so sticky and it'll be interesting to see what happens. I switched on the gas and brought up the heat. Again I kept trying to move it so the heat distributes evenly. It didn't take long before it started warming up and as with the other slime it became a lot lot thinner. You can see it just runs off the spoon. And after a few more minutes, it's getting really close to boiling point. It's really liquid now and it's starting to froth over. As it got hotter, the small bubbles disappeared. It started to boil and we've got this really beautiful green bubbling solution. Pretty boiling, huh? It certainly isn't separating out like the other slime. So I left it to simmer for a few more minutes to see if anything changed. Nothing did. So I took the pan off, left it to cool for a few minutes, then filled up some of these moulds to see what it's like when it's cool again. I'm also using this muffin tray and this bread tin and we'll see what it's like later. Finally we're going to see what happens when we boil this fluffy slime. To make this I used PVA glue and water. I added a bit of blue food colouring then activated it with a small amount of our borax solution. To make it fluffy I took some shaving foam, added that to the bowl and mixed it in. who was left with this really, really sticky, liquid, fluffy slime. Just what I wanted. I'm pouring some of this out into a frying pan. So we can heat it up. Again I kept moving it and it doesn't take long at all before it comes to the boil. It just looks like a load of boiling foam. I turned the heat off for a while to let it settle. Then I bring it back to the boil. I know it's hard to see, but it does look like it's starting to separate a bit. Like the first one, which looked curdled. And this is made with the same glue. It's got really thin and runny again. Nothing like it was before heating. So I left it to cool down. After an hour or so, We've got this foamy surface and more of a stringy slime base. I tipped out the foamy stuff and peeled off the slimy stuff. It is just really sticky, wet slime. It's too difficult to handle really 
and it took a bit of washing to get it off my hands. You certainly wouldn't want to drop this on the carpet. After an hour or so, the green slime hadn't really set properly. There was no glitter in it, apart from in the small amounts of froth which had also poured into the mould. If I poke my finger in, there's a sort of film of slime on the surface. Which I was able to remove. And underneath it was just a liquid. Exactly the same with this one. So I decided to leave it overnight to see if it sets properly. You can see all the glitter that was in the glue has stuck to the edge of the pan. It's all dried out. But I was able to peel it off. It's not slime anymore. It's just sort of a dried up glue. And not very nice. So the next day I took the mould I was going to turn it out onto this plate, but you can see it's just so liquid still. It just ran out of the mould. There was this layer of sort of slimy skin on top. But it certainly didn't set. And of course it's the same with the muffin tray. They all had this layer of skin on top and were liquid underneath. It's pretty cool stuff though and I reckon it would be great for Halloween. Really green oozy goo with a slimy skin. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, if you want to see more you can click on the links or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun and as always, thanks for watching.